Retail traders just bought $2.1 billion worth of stocks in a single day last week. This is coming at the same time that a famous investor says the stock market is in a meme-fueled bubble. And he says that he thinks that this will be the worst crash since 1929 or even 2000. Retail traders are buying up the dips while other famous billionaire investors and managers are saying that this is the largest bubble that we've ever seen, uh, including we saw Michael Burry say this recently too, that a lot of people are gonna get really hurt based on the stock market bubble right now and the crypto bubble. So we're gonna take a look at it, take a look at why Jeremy Rantham is saying this and whether he has any, any reason to be saying this. So I'm gonna get myself out of the way here because I am not that important on this. I just wanted to uh, talk to you about this today. So let's get into it right after we take a look at the market right now. So the market is actually doing kind of a sideways movement here today. Dow Jones, NASDAQ, S&P 500, they're all pretty much sideways. However, if you take a look here, my portfolio uh, is actually up a pretty, a pretty decent amount. So last time I checked, it was up about 1.5%, which is interesting. It shows that people are continuing to move back into growth stocks away from some of these more value plays. It definitely shows that people are feeling a little bit more confident about the market, I believe, and willing to invest into a slightly riskier asset class, right? We have Tesla in here, Fubo, MP Materials, Teladoc, Coinbase, SoFi, Square. These companies are definitely a little bit more risk on than some other more blue chip companies. Now, I will say something that's really interesting is the fact that Webull's actually coming with fractional shares here. So I do wanna say, if you guys want, there is a link underneath the video, just deposit $100, you can get some free stocks. The fractional shares will be available to everyone here in a few weeks, they said, but for new investors on their platform, they'll have access to them starting today. So definitely check out that link. I was actually able to buy pre-market and sell, uh, and sell based on what was happening in the crypto market. So I actually sold all my CleanSpark yesterday on Webull, uh, before the market opened and then bought back after it took a massive dive. I was actually able to make 65 cents per share on CleanSpark. So that was kind of nice. They allow you to trade pre-market and post-market. So again, if you're interested in that, you can definitely check out the link down below. So this article says that retail traders bought $2.1 billion worth of stock in a single day last week, which was a record. Down here, they actually say $2.5 billion, which is interesting. I'm not sure why they're saying uh, these two different numbers and then they say again 2.1 billion so either way these retail investors are buying a significant amount while the institutional investors are dropping you can see the market was down 1.3 percent so if retail traders were buying billions of dollars worth of stock obviously institutional investors were selling so what was actually happening well <laughs> I, I think there was a lot of fear after the Fed talked and there's, a, there's someone that worked at the Fed that said we could see interest rates actually increase in 2022 instead of 2023, like Jerome Powell said. So that caused some fear in the market. Obviously, 1.3% drop on the same day that retail is buying this dip. Now, this is coming at a very pivotal time because... Uh, we, we see this divergence where retail investors continuously are buying, institutional investors are back and forth kind of, I don't want to say paper handing, but they are buying and they're selling much more actively and flip-flopping a lot more. Some traditional investors like Michael Burry, we talked about him last week, and then now Jeremy Grantham says the stock market is in a meme-fueled bubble and shares a drastically lower valuation level that would make him a buyer of equities. So he says that we're in a huge meme rally. He pointed to stretched valuations, commission-free retail trading, and cryptocurrencies to back up his view. So he, he definitely thinks that we are going to take a dip. In a recent interview back in January, he actually said that we will see the worst crash that we've seen since 1929 or 2000 classic finale to an, an 11 year bull market. So he is expecting us to take a massive drop here soon. He says peak overvaluation across each docile by price to sales so that the most expensive 10% of the stock market is worse than the 2000 tech bubble. 
Now, it's a little bit hard to take a look at the top 10% of most expensive stocks, but we can take a look here at the monthly price to earnings. Back in 2000, we had price to earnings around 28, around 27. So it was somewhat expensive. We can see 29, 33, 35 back in uh, 1999. Now we're at 45, 45. So this is definitely a high number. But let's keep in mind, this is based on trailing 12 months. So a lot of companies were hit hard last year. They've been hit hard the last year, but they're going to ramp up to where they were before. So yes, this is high, but there's a, there's a big group of people that think that we're going to increase earnings a lot this year. We're gonna to get to old numbers and that could drop us back down. Now, we have seen lower numbers back in 2019. We had a 21. We've actually seen lower than that before too. If we look back at 2008 though, 2008, we had some high numbers. So the trailing 12 months here went into the 100 range for several months. So this is nothing compared to 2008 numbers. And we should most likely expect this to decrease for the fact that we will hopefully see <laughs> a little bit of an increase in earnings, right? 45, if you're buying a company with 45% price to earnings, you're expecting them to grow a decent amount, right? A pretty decent amount. Now, why is Jeremy saying this then? Uh, obviously, he thinks that cryptocurrencies like Dogecoin are highly overvalued. He mentions that. He thinks that other, uh, other coins that are even based on Doge are in the billion. So he's seeing a lot of money there, a lot of money just being thrown at the market. He definitely uses this phrase a lot, the reversion to the mean. He believes that all asset classes and markets will revert to historical levels from highs and lows. So this makes sense. Obviously, we're a little bit higher than we've been in the past, so he expects them to fall. He also has been described as a contrarian investor and a permable, uh, perma bear, sorry. So this means that he is almost always a bear. He's expecting the market to go down, which Kind of makes sense if we've had an 11 year bull run that he would be expected expecting a bear market for a while now he's been saying this for a while like i said and we haven't quite seen that bear market but he is someone that's made money actually during the bull market he was an early investor in quantumscape which is very interesting because it is thought of as one of the most overvalued SPACs that we've ever seen he invested 12.5 million and at the time of this it was worth 278 million, but this was back on December 8th. So it actually went up another 127% to the peak. So he had about 600, uh, maybe a little bit north of 600 million due to this SPAC merger. So, I mean, it's kind of interesting to take a look at that. Uh, they say here there was actually an accident uh, somewhere in here. So he made an accidental $265 million profit so overall, he's someone that has uh, has invested into some of these companies before, but he still thinks that we're in a bubble. So where can we go from here? Well, I think a lot of this is gonna be dependent on inflation data and where you think inflation is gonna head moving forward. If you think that we are headed towards more inflation, if you think that this is not just temporary, if you think we're gonna to continue to see inflation, that's gonna cause the Fed to raise rates in 2022 instead of 2023, that will definitely hurt. That will definitely hurt the market. That will definitely hurt growth stocks. Personally, I don't think inflation is here to stay. I think a lot of people spent money. A lot of people had a lot of money because of all the stimulus. And a lot of people are saving money now. I don't think we're seeing quite the spending that we were expecting to see. And I don't think it will continue. So overall, I think... Uh, since a lot of places are reopening, at least in the US, I think there's gonna be less of a problem getting a hold of products and less of a supply chain issue. And I think that will naturally lower prices a little bit, at least curb the increases that we've seen. And I think we will see less inflation. I think that's something, at least personally, that's what I believe. Now, I think that will make the Fed less likely to raise interest rates. Now. If they do raise interest rates, we've seen it in 2018, that really hurt the stock market, really hurts growth stocks. So I always believe in keeping some cash around. I actually 
am planning on keeping a decent amount of cash just in stablecoin because I think stablecoins are a great value right now. Of course, there is some risk as opposed to keeping it in a savings account. They're not FDIC insured, but they also pay you know 8.6% at BlockFi. So I think that is a great value and a great place to put some extra money. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research on stablecoin. Uh, but I, I really like the idea of that, that it pays monthly. Now, it's taxed a little bit different. Of course, I'm not a tax advisor, but I believe it's taxed as or ordinary income as opposed to, you know, if you invest in a stock, you can wait to actually take your proceeds, which allows you to control the tax a little bit more. But it's still a very attractive way to make some interest as you have cash on the sidelines. Now, I'm still going to be continuously buying into some stocks. I am actually pretty bullish on the crypto market right now. I know <laughs> it's interesting after we've seen a lot of red in it but I have been buying the dip. I'm going to continue buying and dollar cost averaging into that as well as growth stocks and some other stocks too. So let me know your thoughts on this down below. Do you think we are headed to the worst crypto crash and worst stock market crash that we've seen in a long time? Do you think it's going to be worse than 2000? Let me know. Otherwise, let me know if you think we're going into another bull market. We're going to continue the bull market. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check out Webull and get some free stocks and be able to start trading on their platform with uh, just $5 in any stock, you can definitely check out the link down below. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.